Hello, it is Topical Tuesday, April 27th, 2021. Steve Cypress here, and I saw an interview over the weekend on one of the uh, uh, the Sunday morning, uh, you know, political uh, interview shows with our illustrious Vice President Kamala Harris. And, uh, you know, you should never be amazed at how politicians lie, but this was one where was done so poorly, so obviously. Uh, she told three lies within the span of less than two seconds. And it, it appeared that she was lying pretty much mostly to herself. Uh, she couldn't really believe anyone could believe this stuff. The interviewer certainly couldn't believe it, but the interviewer didn't have enough self-respect to call her on it. Uh, but it made me uh, think about uh, you know, it's always amusing to me when people uh, complain that uh, a, a politician is lying. Oh, he's lying. Well, of course he's lying. He's a politician. That's pretty much the job description. That's how the game is played. Would you sit there or, and, and, you know, watch a champion poker player uh, do a bluff, win a hand, and say, he was lying! He was lying! Well, of course, that's how the game is played. Would you watch a a basketball player uh, fake a shot. The other guy, the defender, jumps up in the air and then he he lays it in. Like uh, he was lying. He was he wasn't really shooting. It was lying. He lied to the guy. It made him think he was shooting. That's a lie. Uh, you know, uh, uh, on and on and on. You know, uh, oh, a, a quarterback does a a fake handoff. Oh, he was lying. He lying. It looked like he was handing off, but he really wasn't. Oh, he was showing a handoff but he didn't hand off he was lying a uh, chess player you know uh, moved all the pieces one way and then surprised his opponent did this oh he was lying but yeah yeah you know chess players have tricks football players have tricks basketball players have tricks they 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 head fake one way go the other way oh was he lying that he was going to the right yeah he was lying that he was going to the right that's what fakes the guy out so he can go to the left and score a basket so politicians and athletes and just about everybody engages in lying in one way or another uh seth godin uh best-selling author speaker uh, thought leader for entrepreneurs and business owner owners wrote a book years ago called All Marketers Are Liars and put a big picture of a, like a guy with a Pinocchio nose on the cover. Like uh, all marketers are liars. We just, speaking of politicians, we just saw a marketer slash politician in the White House the last four years uh, constantly lying. This is the, it was the greatest economy ever. It was the greatest this and that. We had the best this. Everyone he nominated was the greatest person of whatever and the best at anything. And I only hire the best and I'm the best and he's the best and they're the best and we're the best and everything's number one and everything's the greatest. And you'll see well, this shutdown will be over by Easter and what, you know, what? Oh, he's lying. Well, of course he's lying. So the point here, this Kamala Harris, I don't know if you saw it, but it was remarkable how awkward. See, if you're going to lie, you want to do it uh, not awkwardly, like some of those Trump lies and other politicians and, you know, a really bad head fake or a terrible fake handoff or, a, you know, a boxer that, that fakes like he's throwing a punch, like it, but if he fakes it really badly, he's going to get smashed in the face. So you don't want to do it poorly uh, like the subject of today's Topical Tuesday. What's in the news is this really bad lie of Kamala Harris the other day I saw on TV and just wanted to bring it to your attention that you don't want to lie so that your prospects, your customers, your partners, your clients, your suppliers, whoever you're doing business with, just sees how awkwardly and terribly you're lying. Like it's one thing to, you know, announce a, a new hire to your clients in your newsletter and say like, hey, we got a fantastic superstar we just brought on. Maybe the person is not a fantastic superstar, but it's a good thing all around for your clients to see that you're positive about your staff, certainly for your staff to see that you're positive about them, and, and there's some leeway given there. But in this case, uh, if I can remember what Harris said, it was so awkward, so bad. I think, uh, number one, of course, the interviewer was in the tank and, and you know, lobbing up softballs and would have just let anything go no matter what she said. But I 
think she was almost in a little bit of a shock with how bad a lie this was, but she still didn't call her on it at all. But it was something like, uh, are you going, simple question, yes or no, are you going to the border? Supposedly, uh, uh, our vice president is in charge of all the nonsense going on at the border. Um, are you going to the border? And her answer was, if I can remember, the three lies in less than two seconds were, uh, we're working on a plan. That was the first two. We're working on a plan to go there. Now, you're the vice president of the United States. You don't need a plan to go anywhere. You hop in Air Force Two or Air Force One or whatever. You hop in a government plane and all the security people get on and all the press and all the everything and you don't need a plan to go anywhere you want on a second's notice. So you don't need a plan, that's a lie. Second of all, working on a plan, that's even worse. You certainly don't need to work on a plan when you don't even need a plan, but even if you did, the work it would take would take about three seconds. I mean, in other words, instead of a disaster caused by a politician of all this child trafficking and drug trafficking and nonsense going on on the border, what if it was instead all these people were in shelters and, 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 and you know, sleeping under these uh, aluminum foil blankets and huddled all together in the middle of a, not in the middle, but during a pandemic, uh, whatever, uh, maybe what if that was caused by a tornado or a flood or an earthquake? That's what would happen. You'd have all these refugees, all these people huddled all together, looking for help, looking for shelter. You'd pack them all into places and you'd, you know, try and find other places they could go. But in the meantime, they'd all be packed in and they'd all be sleeping like sardines and eating whatever food you can give them. And they'd be crying, where's my mom and whatever. All this stuff would be going on if it was an earthquake had happened. Well, if the earthquake happened, do you think the president of the United States or the vice president or whoever they want to send could get down there in like 12 seconds? They just hop on a plane and go. They wouldn't need to work on a plan. There'd be no plan, there'd be no working on a plan. So I hear this a lot in the business world. I hear this excuse, this lie, whatever you want to call it, from clients, from partners. Uh, uh, one of the ones, a common one is a website. We're working on the website. Uh, get a good website builder. They can throw one up in an hour. Okay, then you can work on it. But get it up. Get it live. We're working on our on our social media post. Get it up. You can edit it later. We're working on our newsletter. Working on our book. Working on our program. Like get it going. You can course correct later. Okay, like a guided missile. It gets off the launch pad, and then they sit there and guide it. Course correct but you can't guide anything unless you get it launched. So get it done. Stop working on a plan to get things done. Just get things done. So at that point, of course, the interviewer, if the interviewer had any self-respect, as soon as Kamala Harris goes, we're working on a plan to go, she would have said, oh, my goodness. Oh, because in the next less than a second later, Harris then caught in that lie, uh, decided to emphasize it with another lie and said, you know, me personally, I can't get down there soon enough. Okay, obviously, again, another lie. And again, you know, I was laughing how inartfully this lying was done. I mean, you can't lie this inartfully. It's just, it's awkward. It's terrible. Again, it's like a, a bad, you know, fake punch from a boxer. You're going to get knocked out. This was just horrible. And the interviewer could have just said, oh, my goodness, uh, put down the microphone. Let's end the interview right now, and you can be there in an hour. I'm sorry to keep you. What am I thinking? Uh <laughs> Of which, of course, Kamala Harris would have had to come up with some more lies and excuses of why she's not going there. Because it's certainly not because she's working on a plan. She doesn't need a plan, doesn't need to work on a plan. And it's certainly not because she can't get there soon enough as, 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 as far as she's concerned. She can't get there late enough as far as she's concerned. So uh, three lies in less than two seconds. Lying to herself lying to the public, lying to the interviewer, lying to everybody, but really obviously doing it. You don't want to do that. Just my suggestion. Okay, so uh, I understand that all marketers tell stories. That's what Seth Godin really meant. Uh, they were lying, we're embellishing, we're telling stories. You know, if I want to, you know, say something about my employee of the month, I'm going to say all the great stuff that employee did over the last month. I'm not going to mention 
the couple of things he did wrong or the two times she was late or the this and that. I'm going to tell the positive side of the story. If I'm, I don't know, giving an interview, I'm going to talk about the positive things going on in our company, the positive things, the, the thing we're launching and when we expect it to be done, even if we really not sure it'll get done on time, we're going to say it's going to get done on time. And you know, this is what we're gonna do and let's have a positive attitude and all, but there, there's, a, there's a line to cross between uh, what's known in the marketing world as puffery, in the sales and marketing world, a uh, embellishment, a slight lie, a slight, uh, you know, pretty much every, what Trump did in every sentence has done for the last 50 years is puffery, kind of puff it up a little bit. So when you have a good economy, say it's the greatest economy ever, uh, you know, when you say, uh, uh, you know, you have a nominee for a position, say he's the perfect nominee for the job. He's the greatest ever. This will, he's, you know, right? So that's known as puffery. Uh, when you see on the cover of pizza box, like uh, we have the best pizza in town, like that's puffery. Legally, they're allowed to say that. Uh, you can't sue them and say, prove it to me. Show me the medals you've won. Show me the awards or... You know, I've compared every other pizza in town. Show me the data. They're allowed to say, we're the best. You've tried the rest. Now try the best. We're number one. Uh, we try harder. They're allowed to say these things. Don't be an artful, awkward, and obviously lying like politicians sometimes do when they're just bad at it. Like uh, Harris is, you know, she's a, obviously a senator and vice president. She's had success, but she's really... Uh, way out of her league, is she not? Uh, there's a reason she dropped out of the presidential race before even the first uh, primary there was uh, during the election, but then Obama handpicked her and put her in as vice president. But man, she's really not good. She's not good at doing the job. She's not good at uh, talking about doing the job. She's just, uh, she's really not good at lying. Uh, business owners, we can always tell. Uh, we deal with a lot of people, and uh, especially as a consultant, we hear lots of excuses, lots of lies all the time. It's our job to discern when people are uh, harmfully lying, when it's a kind of a white lie, it's not a big deal, when they're lying to themselves, when they're lying to us. We've got to, we make decisions all day long, who to do business with, who to accept as clients, who to engage as suppliers, partners, uh, and people are seldom just straight out telling the truth, okay? That's the way business is done, it's the way politics is done, the way sports is done, the way the world works. It's just the way it is, so do it right, do it well, don't do it awkwardly. Uh, it's my advice on Topical Tuesday, and if you want some help with it specifically, anything you have going on, any kind of messaging, you want some help, with how to say it artfully without going over the line of being obviously dishonest, which is not a good thing, uh, hit me up for some help by going to helpfromsteve.com and I'll help you out. Otherwise, I will help you out right here again tomorrow. On World Wide Web Wednesday, I have some uh, interesting advice for you, how to make some more money using the Internet. I'll share that with you tomorrow. That's it for today. Over and out. Bye-bye.